Dr. Stone, Chapter 118, Silent Soldiers. Seven seas lay in the palm of his hand. This is incredible. Now we can make all the revival flu we want, which means we'll be able to revive everyone from the bottom of the sea. Yeah, but we still got to get the order right. So for starters, we got to bring back the craftsman, Kaseki, since we don't have any more oxygen tanks. We got all in on this rescue diving operation. Ha, ah, that's right, Kaseki. First off, we want you. And they got him. Uh, okay, they're trying to get him out. He's completely buried. Yeah, he ain't budging in the least. Oh, regardless of what they found, by now, we should receive the signal to reel them in. I haven't seen anything. There remain oxygen reserves. Case calculating. The standing male breathes 15 liters of air a minute. And the mount wind exerting physical activity is, on average, 20. The tanks hold 10 liters, and their pressure at the start was 70. The problem is they're deaf in the water, approximating based on location of the jellyfish they release and the length and direction of the rope. They're roughly 20 meters deep. Tug, 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 tug. The auction time limit has 4 minutes remaining. It's no good. It's sunken into the mud. Digging out would take hours. But unless we can get Kaseki back, we can't make any more auction tanks, which means we won't be able to come diving back down anymore. That's right. It's our one and only chance. We have to bring Kaseki back, no matter what. Ha ha! If I don't have enough strength on my own, then how can I make use of the strength of my comrades? That's the job of the captain, of the leader. Is it not? Hey, he's tugging at the rope. We got a signal from them. Yeah, something seems off. The way they are tugging on the rope is strange. As if it were some kind of message. It was like, tug, 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 tug. Morse code. Dash, dash, dot, dot. A Z. They're trying to send a sentence via Morse code over the lifeline. But do they have any idea how many minutes that will take? I told them they don't have much time. We'll be right, Sankey. I don't think they'll take that long. We're comrades and shipmates like ourselves. We can communicate something without words. The fact that he's literally doing this right after you told him he's almost out of time means that he needs something immediately. If he's in that much of a rush, there's no way he'd send a sentence. So this is a word. But there's not that many objects that start with the letter Z. Zoo, zebra, zipper, zinc. None of those are right. So it must be Japanese force code. Dash, dash, dot, dot is foo. Something that starts with foo. That he needs right now. Okay, think you knows? Oh, rival fluid? Is it with rope? Rival fluid, okay. That was quick. Got it, okay. Oh, I get it. We revive the number one power, Taiju. Then we might be able to pull out Kaseki's statue, too. But right side. We can't pour the revolve fluid on the water, right? So how will we... In just this one instant, you made that kind of decision. Okay, he's upside down. With water? Okay. He's laying out the auction. It uses the auction in my tank. Create a pocket exactly like the open air. Then I can apply the revived fluid to him from underneath. Using the very last of your auction. Uh oh. And. Oh, wait. his arm. Okay, shoot. We're sure of peace for his arm. He gets revived like this, then. And they're looking down. So he used on the arm. Okay, put it on. Oh, connects. Okay. How do you know that this piece belonged to Daiju at a single glance? Do you remember the exact form that everyone got petrified in? Incredible, so use. Yeah. And he lets it go. Boom, the glow. Okay. He's out. Whoa, I'm back in action, ready to go. Taiju has been revived. Huh? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, I figured that happened. Sorry, to revive you in the middle of the ocean like this, within this instant, I need to tell Taiju to 
current situation and what we need to do, but since we can't talk underwater, I'll connect my face in Taiju's. Using air. Okay. Oop. He's yelling. Okay. Suck in the air. Puts on the air. Okay. I'll be fine with just one breath. Save your air for yourself, right? Say. What's important right now isn't conversation. We're comrades. So even without words, we can communicate through our hearts. Okay. <laughs> Not that I have any basis for that. No, you're exactly right, Taiju. It's just as you said. That message from your heart came in loud and clear. Points at him? Yeah. Okay, all three are coming in. Okay. Looking. It's getting pretty dicey. They're just about uh, at their time limit. Okay, air? They're coming up. Okay. Sees. Sees. Yo, Kaseki. Hiya. The big oaf. Boom. Comes out. Welcome home, everyone. Got him. He's broken apart. Okay. So there's like three pieces. Got his upper torso, his legs, and the arm. So I had to break him out. The partners are back. So yeah. They just gotta revive him and get oxygen tanks so they can dive and get the rest. Hopefully they don't like miss anyone. Taiju's awakened. Or revived. Yeah. I decided like can but uh clear solution. Good thing thinking them like knew that he wanted the rival fluid. So errors needed to like revive them. They can just like pour a bunch in like the water. Yeah, because it'd be like diluted and stuff. Yeah. They got revive Kaseki. And then make the oxygen tanks and pull everyone. And then um They gotta get the girls out. And uh still the petrification beam. Yeah, that's basically it. Well, uh what are your thoughts? Um, if you're new, subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.